Why smashing? Because it's fun. Because it's fun <laughs> and a little crazy. Yeah. This is Smash Bat. We actually have a spring inside that triggers, when this bat hits any object, it triggers a flash that we actually hacked into a disposable camera. So these two things are now connected and whatever we smash, we can get a photograph of. Uh, it's a spring around a nail. And the nail is uh, connected to a wire in the back and the spring is connected to a different wire. And the circuit is open right now, but when it's touched together, it completes the circuit and the flash goes off. And uh, we decided to try to take a, uh, to capture the moment of impact when things became undone. And uh, it became, uh, it, it seemed like a good idea to put the switch directly into the bat. Uh, and that's, that's what we did. Wow. We like to smash a lot of things. Hi, my name is Kyle, and this is my project IE Beats using a laptop, webcam, and candies to make a beat sequencer. Um, it's pretty easy to use. The hardest part is setting up the camera, but once it's in the right place and everything's aligned, every time you move a candy into the way of one of the circles, you get a MIDI that's synthesized and sent to the speaker. Um, it's, you can find it online if you search for IE Beats. The source code is readily available, and you can run it yourself. The pedal-powered tennis ball launcher is transported to the tennis court as a bike trailer. It is constructed from recycled bike parts and used materials. The setup is quite simple. The launcher is detached from the bike. The bike is then placed on the roller made from a rear bike hub and two adjustable arms screw onto the bike skewer to hold it stationary. This makes it possible to use any bike. A cable is attached to the front wheel with a velcro strap. The cable is connected to a guiding device at the exit of the launcher tube, which adjusts the left to right direction of the tennis balls as the handlebars are turned. The drivetrain transmits power to the bottom launcher wheel while the top wheel rolls freely in a counter-rotating direction. Lifting the lever raises the top wheel and activates a latch that drops a single tennis ball into the chute. The tennis ball rolls down the chute and is ejected out from between the tires. mouse that I've modified. So this is your old analog mouse. You used to have a ball in it. I took the top off. And this one's wireless. Doesn't matter. I put a little DC motor on the wheel that spins the x-axis. So I wired that to this potentiometer. And when I turn the knob, that little wheel is going to spin and it's going to throw my friend's cursor to the side of the screen. The first thing I do is I turn the knob. The little thing starts spinning. Hopefully if you do this at home, it'll be quieter. And then I plug this back into the back of the computer. And it should work alongside his current mouse. So he shouldn't know another mouse is plugged in because his mouse will still work. Only it'll be opposed by this little guy who I'm also gonna hide behind this computer. So now when he comes back, it should be really funny because he's gonna think something's wrong with his computer. Joe, what you do to my mouse? Major funding for Make is provided by Geek Squad.